Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 2, Conservation and Momentum, Segment 6, Application of Momentum Balances. With me, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about fluid kinematics, conservation relations, fluid statics, constitutive relations, laminar and turbulent flow. And in this segment, we will discuss about application of momentum balances. The number of flow problems that can be solved analytically is limited. Often, it is necessary to make simplifying assumptions about the character of the flow or the boundary conditions. Nevertheless, the simplified problems are important because the assumptions can be approximately satisfied in many different types of flow. An example of simple flows can provide some insight into more complex flow, particularly first, flow induced by a sliding plate, second, pressure-driven flow through a narrow rectangular channel, third, pressure-driven flow through a cylindrical tube, and fourth, pressure-driven flow of a power low fluid in a cylindrical tube. Two, these problems treat the effect of geometry, the manner in which flow is generated, the constitutive equations upon the flow field, and the resulting forces acting on the fluid. The assumptions used in each problem are stated, and conditions are identified for which these assumptions are valid. In order to gain a better understanding on the application of momentum balances, students are encouraged to read the detailed explanation of the examples in the book of Transport Phenomena in Biological Systems, authored by Trusky et al. 2009. For the next module, we will discuss about viscosity and mechanism of momentum transport. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.